Hey everyone, how are y'all tonight? Hope everyone's doing good. Um, I want to come on here and uh, talk about a few things that uh, people are not talking about. They're not discussing. Um, it's like they've just completely forgot about it and it's just like fell off. Um, it hasn't fell off for me because I, I think about it every day just about. Um, Y'all remember when they found the car behind the house in Orange Mound? Y'all remember the very next day there was a man shot and killed in front of that house? Okay. There has never, to this day, there has never been a name released or any information at all about who was shot and killed in front of that house. That's another thing that's been very tight-lipped. Um, I haven't forgotten about it. I think about it. I feel like it's a connection. Um, I want to do a little short reading even though, you know, I don't know the man's name. None of us know the man's name that I'm aware of. Uh, the only thing that we really know about the situation is that when he was shot and killed, uh, a woman came out running and screaming, you know, running towards the body. Uh, that's the last any of us has heard on that. So, um... Sorry, guys. But, um, I just want to do a little small reading right now, this second. And, uh, then I'm going to meditate. And I'll come back with a much, uh, detailed, deeper reading on him. Uh,. You know, we don't have a name or nothing like that, so we're just going to have to try to pick his energy up with going through that, you know, connecting him to that uh, house, to the car, to the information somehow. But, uh, and there's another one, um that hasn't really been mentioned and that I have not forgot about neither. Uh, where there was a man that was shot and killed and he got dropped off at the hospital. He got shot, they went to the hospital, dropped him off and he died later. Um, you notice it's been, they released no name on that person. Uh, this was right after, you know, Dolph being shot and killed. Um, I feel like that could be tied. But I definitely feel a connection to this uh, person that was shot and killed in front of the house where they found that, uh, that Ben's at that killed Dolph. It was involved in the killing of Dolph. So I don't want y'all to forget about that situation because it's still out there. You know, it's still out there and, and they're not talking about it and they're not giving us nothing on it. And usually when somebody gets, uh, when somebody gets murdered, you know, and they announce it or whatever, there is usually one or two people that's going to be in that thread, in the commenting thread that, you know, identifies to that person, knowing who that person is, or a family member. <clears throat> and, you know, they, they'll usually name them and say, rest in peace or whatnot. Just like the, uh, just like they did with the women in Covington. You know, as soon as they announce that on the news, in the comment thread, you'll see where there was some folks related that, you know, made comments 
on who it was. But nothing on neither one of them boys. Nothing on the one that went to the hospital, got dropped up, dropped off at the hospital and died. And then the one in front of the house, the next day the car was found. That's been super quiet too. And anytime they're usually super, super quiet like that, it's because it's probably involving something with the murder of Dolph. And um, I really feel strongly about the boy that was uh, shot and killed in front of the house. He might have been the... Uh, he might have been the tipster because it was definitely a tip that came in that told them where that car was, okay? So we know that for, as a fact. So I'm gonna just pull a A few cards on that situation there. And just see what we get. And then I'm going to uh, go off of here for a little bit and uh, do my thing that I do and come back and uh, try to do a much bigger, deeper reading on them. Okay, this is going to be a reading... A short reading on the man that was killed in front of the house where Dolph was, or where the car that was involved in Dolph's shooting. I want to know what he has to do with the case. Does he have anything to do with the case? Was it a random shooting? Does it have to do something with Dolph's case? This man laying in the street dead in front of the house that they found the bins that was involved in golf shooting. So I feel like cutting the deck. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Okay. So he got the owl. He got it in the upright position. That means, uh, He's seen something, okay? Uh, he's seen something if it was the car or if he knew uh, if he was a part of it. He was with them, in on it. I don't know, but he he definitely, uh, he definitely seen something. And uh, it, it's also a card of action. So he's seen something and he took action on it. Okay, I, I'm gonna, I'm reading it as, you know, he turned that car in. I'm gonna read it as he turned that car in. That's what I'm feeling on that one there, so. Mm. Okay, he gets the zombie card, but he gets it in the reverse position. So with it being in the uh, re reverse position, um, it's something that he no longer has control of, okay? And that was probably them coming to shoot him, okay? Whoever his killers were. He gets the strength card in reverse, okay? Which is, you know, he's just weak, we know, because he got shot. Uh... He gets the Skull of Stars, which is usually uh, infinity, infinity possibilities. Uh, that means his boss possibilities are wide open, but he gets it in the reverse. Okay, that means he he's uh he has no nowhere to go, no nowhere to turn, nowhere to go. Okay, it's it's definite. 
his outcome is definite. I want to pull one more card. Yeah. He gets the joy in reverse. So we all know what that is. And, uh, he also gets the mummy card. Um, the mummy card is about change. Um, things switching up on you, things changing, um, I'm going to do a confirmation on that card. Uh, that possibly could be a... Uh, him being involved in it, and he had... I don't feel that, though, so I'm not even going to finish that sentence because I don't feel it at all. Um, he possibly maybe knew too much. Um, he could have been there. You know, he, he, he very well could have been there. And uh, maybe they didn't trust him much. But I, I don't believe that. Um, what I, what I do feel is that he did see the car for sure. He, you know, he, with, with him getting this card here, this mummy card, this, he very well could have seen it all. He, he could have been the driver of that car, you know, and, and they come to the point to where they didn't trust him. He had no control over that situation. Um, his destiny was made for him. No, I'm gonna... I keep saying it's gonna be a short reading, but I, I'm really picking it up, so... I'm gonna just do one more card. I want a confirmation card on this reading. Uh, I just have to take it. Okay, you got the, uh... Wow. He gets the time card. Um, I bet if we go and look... I'm gonna have to go and look. I bet it was close to, uh, noon when we heard about him being shot and killed. It's going to be within that hour time frame. That's the magical hour, so. It's either going to be close to 12 or a little after 12. But it's definitely that time frame. Yeah, he gets the veil. Uh, I think he thought he was sneaky enough. And people didn't know, but he didn't see that. He didn't see see it coming, you know. He didn't see his life ending coming. So from what I'm feeling and what I'm picking up in the cards is, uh, it's possibly giving me a go on he was the tipster. He was definitely something, but we'll have to wait and find out on that. Um, hopefully, it'll be brought up, and we will find out something on it. And I'm going to uh, get off of here for a few, and I'll be back with another reading.